40 years ago today, four American church women were murdered and dumped in a shallow grave in a cow pasture in Santiago Nonoalco, El Salvador. Mary Knoll's sisters, Maura Clark and Ida Ford, Ursuline's sister, Dorothy Kazel, and lay missioner Jean Donovan were victims of the country's civil war, killed by members of the Salvadoran National Guard. The women knew they faced danger, and yet they could not leave the people they served. Jean Donovan wrote in a letter just two weeks before her death. Several times I have decided to leave El Salvador. I almost could, except for the children, the poor bruised victims of this insanity. Jesus feels for his people as we hear in today's gospel before he miraculously feeds the multitude with just a few loaves and a couple of fish. He says to his disciples, my heart is moved with pity for the crowd, for they have been with me now for three days and have nothing to eat. I do not want to send them away hungry for fear they may collapse on the way. Inspired, the life, inspired by the life and martyrdom of Archbishop St. Oscar Romero, all four of these heroic women, they shared a commitment to the church's preferential option for the poor. In his 1979 reflection on the anniversary of St. Oscar Romero's martyrdom, Bishop Ken Unchener of Saginaw Mission wrote this beautiful prayer that I share with you here. It helps now and then to step back and take a long view. The kingdom is not only beyond our efforts, it is even beyond our vision. We accomplish in our lifetime only a tiny fraction of the magnificent enterprise that is God's work. Nothing we do is complete, which is a way of saying that the kingdom always lies beyond us. No statement says all that could be said. No prayer fully expresses our faith. No confession brings perfection. No pastoral visit brings wholeness. No program accomplishes the church's mission. No set of goals and objectives includes everything. This is what we're about. We plant the seeds that one day will grow. We water seeds already planted, knowing that they hold future promise. We lay foundations that will need further development. We provide the yeast that produces effects far beyond our capabilities. We cannot do everything, and there is a sense of liberation in realizing that. This enables us to do something and to do it very well. It may be incomplete, but it is a beginning, a step along the way, an opportunity for the Lord's grace to enter and do the rest. We may never see the end results, but that is the difference between the master builder and the worker. We are workers, not master builders ministers, not messiahs. We are prophets of a future that is not our own. Amen. And Ida, Maura, Dorothy, and Jean, you walk with us still, and we remember. <laughs>